Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Matt from the Hair Transplant Channel right here where it's all about stopping our hair loss, getting our hair back and hair transplant. You know, I decided to react to this viral video of one gentleman who was balding, looking like this, <laughs> and now you won't believe me, he decided to cover up his baldness just for his wedding day. But before I start, I just want to make sure that you know that this video isn't meant to make fun of this guy or disrespect this gentleman who decided to do this just for one day. I don't care. I'm just gonna comment on this hair transformation of him because it's something that it's relevant to our channel as well. So let's start. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I really love how this guy is like styling his hair as if he would have like full head of hair. He's gonna even straighten it. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. I'm gonna stop it here for a moment because I think this guy actually got a hair transplant. As you can see here, it's not uh, natural, it's not normal that a guy goes bald like Norwood 7. He's literally bald, but he has like clear definition of a frontal hairline. Also, if you take a look at the picture here, we can see that the frontal hairline is clearly defined. You know, it's not very dense, of course, but there is a clear definition. So basically what he's doing right now is he's creating this kind of combo over, kind of Brad Pitt Fury uh, kind of look. Uh, let's see how this goes. Hair thickening fibers. For all you guys who don't know what hair fibers are, Basically, it's a powder which is made out of real hair and also keratin which should be sprinkled all over your bald areas to add more volume to your hairstyle, okay, to your thinning hair. Is it gonna work in this case? Let's take a look. Let's see how this is gonna go. Oh man. Alright. Alright. It's getting thicker. I mean, it's crazy, right? You cannot really tell. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be very tough to recreate the frontal hairline just with the powder, I mean. See, it's gonna get all over your forehead. Uh, you need to clean it. This is what I don't like about recreating the frontal hairline just with hair fiber. I think it's very, very tricky. It doesn't look bad on a video, but the question is how long is this going to last? If this guy is gonna say yes to his girlfriend, he's gonna marry her and then, I mean, it starts raining or the wind starts blowing, I mean, this can look really messy. So as you can see, you need a lot of hair fibers to cover up this type of baldness like Norwood 7 with like five or six hairs at the front. So it's not gonna be an easy job, but as you see, it is doable. At the end, as you can see, you need to use your hairspray all over your hair. So it's gonna kind of make these hair fibers stick to your hair and to your skin also. Oh yeah, guys. Now let's take a look at the before and after difference, okay? All right. Whoa, oh man. I mean, I mean, there is a difference, okay? We can see that uh, he has hair. I mean, look at this hairline, I mean, how this is going to look like even like two, three hours from now. I mean, uh, he starts sweating, uh, the sun starts shining on his wedding day, uh, maybe it starts raining, like how this is going to look like. I mean, this hairline is gonna look a little messy, don't you think? Let me know in the comments below. The illusion of volume is there, the illusion of thickness and density is also there. You have to also admit that from going from here to here, I mean, it's quite admirable, okay, what this barber kind of managed. In this case, like, what would make even more sense in my opinion would be a hair system. Just put a hair system on your head. It's gonna be less of a pain in the ass for you. Just gonna glue it onto your skin and you're just gonna have a nice wedding day or whatever. I mean, if you wanna do it. Not only would this be a better solution, but you would also have 
more like realistic looking hair with a hair system let me know what you think guys would you do something like that if you are a bald guy if you're a bald gentleman watching my channel which i appreciate very much would you do something like that or not and by the way man if you are a bald guy and you are about to get married don't do something like that i mean the girl should like you already there is no reason to prove something to her like hey yeah I'm gonna grow my bald head just for your wedding day to make you kind of feel I don't know that's bullshit man she should already accept you for how you look like and you know what if you tell her like no I'm gonna have my head shaved she's gonna respect you she's gonna respect you even more because you stand for who you are how you look how you want to carry yourself you're like yeah i'm the bald guy i don't give a shit and that's how i'm gonna look like on my wedding day on your wedding day as well and you should should also accept me for that this is awesome this is the right attitude man and this is why i respect you also if you are the type of guy i respect guys who are bald and they're like yeah i want to stay bald because i like it because that's what god made me like that's also an attitude man and this is great because men with attitude are gonna be respected if you are gonna be the guy who's gonna want to change for her just for one day not gonna be respected by her nor by her friends female friends so this is my little take on that that's what i would do like honestly if i would be bald i would never do something like that if i wanted really wanted my hair then i would probably get a hair system and but Get it wear it long term not just for wedding day or that, that that's that's that doesn't make sense to me okay let me know what you think about this transformation what would you do in a similar situation what is your take on that comment below other than that for all you new guys who never watched my channel my name is matt and i have done a hair transplant about two years ago now i'm basically helping out guys helping them find the best hair transplant clinic for the best possible price or for their selected price range they are willing to invest and really consulting them trying to get their hair back helping them get their hair back and having a great life having better quality life for all the guys who are interested in a hair transplant make sure you get my ebook which is called five things i wish i'd known before my hair transplant which you can get for free just go in the description below and download it for free if you are interested in me helping you out directly with your hair situation with your hair loss make sure you sign up and apply for my consultation also in the description below where i can consult you uh, advise you specific hair transplant strategy for your hair loss situation so that was it guys make sure you subscribe and like this video and i'm looking forward to see you in the next video take care guys